Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought that I would finally do a bit of a basic portrait retouching tutorial because uh, I haven't actually done one of those yet, not really from start to finish. Uh, so I thought now would be a good chance to do one and hopefully this tutorial won't go for too long. It's pretty simple. Um, so I guess the first thing I would probably start off with when I'm editing portraits and this is really just when I'm doing minimal editing, um, not going too crazy with retouching uh, and when I'm wanting to do a bit of a natural look I start off with my frequency separation action and I usually just run that and I do have a tutorial on how I use this action um, I'll actually link the video down below that might be easier so you can go take a look at that but yeah, I usually just run that action first and I will start to clean up the skin a little bit, just getting rid of any blemishes, either with the clone tool or the healing brush. So, just open that and sampling from other areas of the skin just to clean it up a little bit. Any blemishes. They're not really noticeable too much on... Um, this particular photograph so I don't really need to spend too much time doing that okay so just quickly clean up this area and then we'll move on to dodging and burning I do have another tutorial on dodging and burning as well, so you guys can check that out if you really want to. Um, so this is really just going to be a basic start to finish of how I usually edit my photographs. More so with portraits. So, I think I'm pretty happy with the skin tone. Let's see, just get rid of these little bumps okay alright so I'm I'm pretty happy with that I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I do want to retain a lot of the texture in the skin for this particular image okay so I think we'll just move on to doing some dodging and burning now so I always do my dodging and burning on a grey layer um, separate to the background image. I, do, I don't do my dodging and burning on the background layer. So holding alt and then new layer and changing the mode to overlay and fill with overlay neutral color. And okay. So move that layer above the frequency separation just to separate it. Okay, so first off I start with dodging and the mid-tones. So... Oh computer's lagging a bit at the moment. Okay. So I just go over the, the areas that are really already highlighted um, because otherwise if you start dodging in areas that are too dark it can start to look a bit um, unnatural <laughs> especially with the lighting. I mean we want to keep this photo looking relatively natural and keep the lighting that's that's already in the photograph, not sort of creating different shadows and that sort of thing too much. Okay. So once I've gone over the mid-tones a little bit, I tend to move on to the highlights. I'm just going to go over the eyes a little bit more. just under the eyes so I'll move on to the highlights now and go over the areas that specifically are already highlighted because as I said before when you go over particular shadows with the highlight option it can look just really unnatural and that's not what we want in this image so just highlight the areas that are already done just to make them pop a little bit more
Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with the highlights now. So I'll move on to making another layer, another gray layer for the burning. And get the burn tool. And same sort of thing, I start with mid-tones first usually. I, I don't really work too much with the highlight option with burning. Um, and I don't work with the shadow option too much in dodging. So uh, I think you have to be pretty careful with those options because, yeah, that's when it can start to look a little bit unnatural depending on wh what area you're working with. But I'll just do a little bit of burning. Just make your eyebrow a little bit darker on that side. And on the other side too. And then I usually go over the lashes uh, just to darken them a little bit and it makes the eyes pop just that little bit more. And, you know, obviously this is very natural makeup, so if it was, I guess, a little bit more out there, uh, I would probably spend a little bit more time just um, with the dodging and burning to bring it out, to bring it out even more. I'm just going to go over these areas here with the dodge tool again. And I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to maybe get the burn tool again. And then go over some of the other shadowed areas. Just a little bit more. I usually only work with mid-tones with the burn tool. Um, sometimes with other, the other options, but yeah, that's just generally how I like to edit my photos, I guess. it's There's no right or wrong way to do it. I'm going to get the dodge tool again as well and just highlight the hair a little bit more. to bring that out a little bit. So I think this photo was shot on, I think it could have been about 1.8. Um, so that's why it's so blurry, if anyone was wondering. I've just noticed one little dark spot, I think that I might just get rid of there. Just move that. Okay, so let's zoom out and see what that looks like. So I'm just going to show you a before and after now of what I've just done. So that was the before, and that's with the dodging and burning. So there's a little bit more, I guess you could say, depth to the image now that I've done the dodging and burning. So, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we can move on to tones now. So I think for this image, I'd like to keep it pretty similar tones to what's already in the image because I like how the lighting is as well and I don't want to change that too much. So I just want something to kind of complement it and still make it look kind of natural. Um, so I think I'm going to start off with a curves layer. And I'm going to just make the shadows a little bit off. And then bring that down. And if you guys don't know already, I love this tool because there is so much you can do with it. I'm just going to make them. As I said, I don't want to change the lighting too much because I do like how it is already. Okay, I'm just going to bring that down a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I can always go back and change it. Alright, so after curves, we might do a selective colour. This is usually how I like to get 
a lot of my tones in my photographs. And as I've said in previous tutorials, I generally tend to work on the whites, neutrals and blacks. So with the whites, I think we'll do... Just experiment a little bit and see what we come up with. Okay, and then we'll move on to the neutrals. Yeah. So we don't want her skin tone to go too pink or too orange because it's too easy to do in Photoshop a lot of the time. And the blacks will go three. happy with that with the selective color so I think I'm going to just bring the levels down a little bit so I'll make a levels adjustment layer and I'll just get the highlights back a little bit because they have gone a bit flat so just a little bit to bring them out and I think I'll get a solid color up as well Uh, I think I'll get stick with the blue green kind of look that we've got going on at the moment. So probably about say maybe around there. Okay, so and then we'll just maybe test a couple of blending modes out. Usually lighten is one that I like to use a little bit. Yeah, I think that just adds a little bit. Don't want to go too overboard. So I think I'm just going to bring down the curves a little bit. tablet. Just use the mouse for that. Okay. So let's just zoom out. And I'm just going to show you a before and after of what the original image looked like and what it looks like now. So there's just a little bit more depth in it I think than before and we haven't gone overboard with the tones either. So I think I might just add a few finishing touches to this. I might actually just lighten her cheek up just a bit. It's a little bit dark on this side. So with mid tones. I think that's good. Alright, and I might just bring the blacks down a little bit because they are a little bit grey at the moment, a little bit too grey. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more contrast. Alright, so I think I'm finished. We'll just um, do another little before and after. So that was before and this is after. So I just wanted this particular photograph to have kind of like a soft kind of dreamy effect. Um, just sort of following on from the original photograph where the, the lighting was quite soft and just sort of highlighting that but not too much that it's going overboard. Alright so usually after that's done I will save the PSD. I'm just going to take a snapshot now so I'm going to just flatten the image and then after I've flattened it I will do my sharpening action which I also have a tutorial on sharpening so if you guys want to check that out that's cool. So 
we'll just add that and that would be using a high pass filter too so I'll bring that down just a little bit though because we don't want it too sharp right so I think I'm pretty much done and then obviously you flatten the image and all done so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial definitely let me know and if you'd like to see more like this one more portrait tutorials definitely um, leave a message in the comment section below or you can email me so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye